This is a demonstration on creating columns, uh, possibly a cover sheet, and some footers uh, in here. A little bit of a hodgepodge, but what we're doing in here, we have this document here. We want to make it look like a newsletter, and we want to put columns here. We're going to have one column across the top, three columns in the middle, and have a single column for what you will learn at the bottom here. And as you can see, we have the paragraph markers on. I want to put things in columns right now, so I'm going to highlight this section here. I just highlight it with the mouse. Making sure we do this properly. We don't need that section there. I just go over to here and we go to page layout we click on columns I'm gonna make it three I want to put lines in between here and I also want to change the distance in between things here so to do this we click inside columns and we click on more columns I want to make it a narrower space here make it 0.25 line in between it gives a little sample here it shows the one column here one column down there say okay so that is done uh, we could go into justify if we want to to make it look like a real newsletter and we click on this here so the text is even there you can see it's just spreading out really wide there we could uh, put on the hyphenation if we want to I don't like this look I bring it back like this next thing we want to do is we have these codes on it so it's a section break here it's all continuously on one page. It's going to a second page here on there. And <clears throat> we could do additional formatting if we need to, like the bold. We all know how to do that on there. And what I want to do is I want to put a cover page on here. To do that, we, it doesn't matter any place we go. We go to Insert, and we click on Cover Page and it shows a whole bunch of styles in here and I'm just going to use this one here and then I could say launch space uh, we could say spring classes we could put our name in here have it over at the left now it's Fred Smith on there and then if I want to put today's date in here I click inside the drop down arrow here and I could make it May 6th because I'm publishing it that day and then if I want this over to the left I just accidentally moved it gotta be tricky here I did a left align here so you have it over there and we go down here it has this place marker here if you don't want something just click in the box above delete it okay so we scroll down here we could we have this thing here we could have an abstract highlight it delete it on there so you got that there now I want to talk about footers for a minute here and if I put a footer in here doesn't matter where I go I click on insert and then I click on footer and it has different types here and I'll use the alphabet and I'll just say launch space here on there I close the header and the footer I go into the print preview I want to see all three pages here I click on zoom in here drag over to here say okay it shows it the way we did it here it does not have the footer on this cover page it automatically separates it um, you can't really edit here but if I click in here it enlarges it and when I see this here I can't see the column spaces in here and but it shows you when I enlarge it close print preview what I don't like I want to change the margins here I want them narrower uh, so it will fill the thing a lot better here so I go to page layout margins custom margins make it half an inch all the way around and what it did here it just put the margins in this one section that's not what I wanted to do I'm going to undo so if I go into margins again I go into custom margins 
I'm going to type in the half inch. And what it's saying here is apply to this section. We had used section breaks when we did the columns here. It, the computer puts it in here. So I'm going to say whole document. And then it shows it there. I say OK. Go up here. Uh, even put it up there. These cover pages are kind of exempt from the footer, which is nice. Very nice. On here, I go to the print preview again. So I've got that. Next thing, I have to add a supplement to this with a different footer. I go to the end. And so I'm going to say page layout, breaks, next page section break. So I'm now on page four. And I'll just type in appendix. We now have this final page here. And we created in here, in the footer here, uh, appendix copyright 2011 here. We showed off the link to previous so it wouldn't mirror it. Last thing I want to do when we're going in here, we want this to actually begin with page one rather than the cover page. To do this, we have a slightly modified footer in here. We could change things around if we want. What I did in here, I clicked on page number, format page numbers. You want to start at zero because the cover page is page zero. After zero comes the number one. I say OK. I go to print preview. I have four pages here. This has page one in here. This has page two in here. This has page three in, not page three, this has appendix in here. So what we have here is a section here where there's one column, another section where there's three columns, and then another section here. This is the third section where it's one column, and the fourth section here where you have the appendix in there. 